Hello everybody, my name is Rick Dangerous, and welcome to episode number 25 of my Terraria Let's Play series. This is a hardcore permadeath character playing on a master mode for the Worthy World Seed. In the last episode, we finished off the arena for the Queen Bee. This will also serve as a Plantera arena in the future. We set up a fishing spot in the underground jungle, got some NPCs moved around to different pylons, um, and we defeated the King Slime, so we got our four trophies. Uh, in this episode, we're going to fight the Queen Bee. Um, let's organize our potions. We have Iron Skin, Endurance, Regen, Swiftness. Those are pretty standard. Uh, we need all of our statues and furniture for buffs. We are going to need honey as a buff, so let's go ahead and bring some empty buckets to get the honey. Uh, I'd like to place a sunflower or two to uh, get the happiness buff. So let's bring some dirt seeds, sunflowers, and um, get those planted. I'm just looking for dirt. I think it might be in the piggy bank. Yeah. Okay. Um, as for other potions, I will use... Um, let's see here. I wonder if I can make inferno inferno potions. Let's try that real quick. I'll have to look at the ingredients for that. Um, And I know I want to make Wrath Potions at some point. Let's go ahead and check the wiki real quick for Inferno Potions. Oh, you know what? We need, um, we need fish from the Underworld for that, I believe. Yeah, Fire, Fin, Koi, and Obsidian Fish. So it looks like, like I'll be able to make one Inferno Potion. Okay, so we'll bring that. Um, I think that should do it. We're going to use the Hellwing bow for this fight. Let's go ahead and make sure I buy more arrows so I have enough arrows. And as for accessories, uh, we're not going to need the uh, Feral Claws. But I think I would like more movement. So it's either going to be the balloon for the extra jump height. Or maybe even the frog leg just for the acceleration on the jump. I think I'll use the frog leg because I like the acceleration. And it does have three defense so that's good. Okay so let's buy some arrows. And I'll also need to make sure I bring the archery potion since we're using arrows. And now that I'm done hollowing out an area, I don't need to bring all these bombs with me anymore. So let's get rid of a lot of these bombs. And I have the archery potion. So this should do it. Let's head over to the arena. Um, yeah, so let's, I think the quickest way to the arena is probably straight down, and then we'll teleport over to the desert. So I think, uh, since it's for the worthy, um, just like all bosses, pretty st standard stuff 33 percent more health 33 percent more damage they're bigger they're faster they accelerate faster top speed is faster i think the queen bee actually it said it enrages quite a bit 
um, even though it's in the underground jungle, so we'll have to be ready for a somewhat enraged queen bee. Um, we'll go ahead and place the furnitures and statues and things. Um, heart lantern. Uh, I'm going to switch to the Hellwing bow for this fight. Got the bass statue. Okay. Um, oh, so the armor. I shouldn't be wearing uh, obsidian armor since I'm not going to be using um, minions. So I think molten armor, 898. Eight. It's either that or I could make the ranger armor. Um, let me check the wiki real quick on how much defense the ranger armor actually has. Um, so for ranged, it's called necro armor. Um, and it's 667. Or, yeah, 676. 5% increased damage, 5% increased damage, 5% increased damage. Um, and what's the set bonus? 15 imp. You know what? I think we will go necro armor. That's going to require um, bones and cobwebs. So let's go ahead and teleport home and get that real quick. We have plenty of bones and plenty of cobwebs. Um, so, necro armor. Okay. And now we will head out. I'm just going to put my other potions in the piggy bank for now so that I can uh, just hit B to buff by using all my potions at once just to make things a little easier. So I'm not going to use shine, danger sense, or mining during this fight. Um, I will actually grab the seafood dinner instead of the normal food. Alright, now we can head over to the jungle. And I'm going to pick up some honey uh, for the arena. So while I'm at it, I'll bring all my buckets and pick up a lot of honey. And the frog legs should help with this fight. Um, just the acceleration on the jump, that should help quite a bit. Alright, so let's go get some honey first. There should be plenty of honey somewhere around here. Um, right up here, there's honey. Okay. And I'll need to plant two sunflowers. The reason I'm grabbing a bunch of extra is just so I can bring it back to base. Alright, so we'll plant a sunflower over here on this side. For the happiness buff so we run faster and we'll plant a sunflower over on this side as well maybe right down here on top of our uh, little fishing spot okay sunflower and then finally we just need honey um, I think I'll go ahead and put that uh, let's put the honey down here Let's heal up. And I 
think that's everything. So we have all the um, all the furniture placed, all the correct um, accessories, correct armor, plenty of ammo. All right, let's go ahead and do this. I need to go pop the uh, queen bee item up here. Okay, right there it is. Okay, here she comes. Yeah, I can tell already she's faster. Her movements just seem faster than normal. A little harder to, uh, there she's staying still for now for a little. Oh, I forgot to buff, so let's go ahead and buff. That would be smart. I don't know if the Inferno Potion was really needed since I'm using Hellfire Arrows. Um, I don't want to jinx myself, but so far this seems like a really easy fight. I mean, she normally is when prepared. Um, but I was a little concerned about the extra speed and everything. She does hit very hard though, so even though it seems easy right now, a couple hits could change things dramatically. Let's go ahead and get in the honey real quick. This ending is going to be the tough part, where she's enraged all the time, but I'm getting some good dodges in. Alright, well, that was a lot easier than I expected. Um, it might actually be a good time to just fight her again while we're at it. Um, let's go ahead and get down into this uh, second hive real quick. While all my buffs are active, I'll just blow a hole through here. Oh, I accidentally screwed up my honey. Oh well. We can place more. Okay, so let's put the honey back. And the platform. Okay. And let's pop the next... Uh, Right there it is. And the witch doctor arrived, which is good. So I want to try to save the, um, the stuff on the ground, the parts for when I need them from the previous uh, B. So let's leave those parts on the ground as long as we can. I'll go get in the honey real quick. I went ahead and used a healing potion. 
um, just to uh, get that um, potion sickness uh, kicked off sooner. And again, I want to just try to uh, save those hearts that are down there. But the nice thing is, defeating her twice is probably going to be enough for bee armor. to heal in about 10 seconds and that way I can save those other hearts for later okay I can heal now so the next time I need to heal I can simply just grab hearts from the ground there. Let's go ahead and heal up, just in case. Alright, cool. So that's two queen bees down. Um, that might be enough for bee armor, so let's pick up all our stuff here and bring this back to base with us. We'll obviously leave the sunflowers and the... Um, uh, banners and honey. We'll leave that here. So let's just grab a little more honey from buckets and teleport home. I could definitely tell that it was more difficult than normal uh, master mode. The for the worthy changes make it a lot harder, but still very doable since I was so prepared. And again, I just grabbed all this extra honey just to fill, fill our tank at home a little bit. Alright, so uh, I think for now let's go back to the summoner loadout for a little bit. Actually, I want to see the honey fill up here because it's kind of cool. Alright, uh, let's put on our summoner armor. And we'll retire the Hellwing bow for a little bit. Okay, and we'll get the whip back. We have the Queen Bee trophy. So this is all the pre-hard mode bosses with the exception of the Wall of Flesh, which will be next. And there we go, we replenish some of our honey liquid just in case we need some. Um, let's see here. Let's go ahead and mark some things to sell. We'll do, we'll go do a quick stack first. All right, we'll add honey or bottled honey there. So we'll sell the second relic. We don't need all these tally counters, so let's sell two of those. And I'm, I'm kind of done with the pets, they kind of get in the way. Um, maybe I'll save one for my, my kids, so um, I'll just store those here for now. My kids might want those. Alright, so let's open the treasure bag. Um, we got the ma 
magic bee gun and the melee bee keeper. I don't really want those. I don't need all the vanity stuff, so I'll mark those to sell as well. I'll hang on to the hive packs in case I decide to use those. And then for beeswax, uh, that's used to make the bee armor. Um, it takes 20, 30, so I have, I have enough for bee armor, so let's go ahead and make that. And that's probably better than the uh, obsidian armor. So let's um, let's go to the sawmill and make another statue. Actually, let's or I mean I'm sorry, mannequin. Let's make a bunch and we'll show off some of our old uh, armors down here. Okay. So for the bee armor, we get two extra minions and just extra minion damage, basically. Okay. Oh, so with the beeswax, I think I can also make, uh, yeah, a hornet staff if I want. I guess it can't hurt. Maybe I'll want hornets sometimes instead of imps. But for now, I'll use imps. Uh, and actually, the imp staff, I probably could have reforged at some point. Let me go look into that real quick. So I think now I can have four imps instead of three. Let's see what it costs to reforge. Oh, that's really cheap. Um, okay, let's see here. Um, I'm going to want Ruthless, I believe. 18 damage. Oh, let's just go godly. Ruthless is better, but that's good. And then the Hornet Staff, that's also dirt cheap. Mythical, I'll take that. Okay, so now we got four imps. Let's put back on our Feral Claws. Because we're going to be using the Whip again. Okay, so the only boss left is the Wall of Flesh, which will activate hard mode. So there's going to be a lot of preparation I need to do before I enter hard mode. Um, one of those things is to um, get the pylon network set up. So I don't care that much about the golfer anymore because I think the witch doctor will make the zoologist happy enough to sell the pylon. So let's go ahead and move the merchant and we're going to get the um, newly acquired witch doctor moved in here briefly just so we can buy the pylon. While we wait for him to move in I do need to go to the jungle and build housing. Um, oh, the witch doctor moved already. That's awesome. That was really fast. So let's head back over there. Sometimes it takes a while and sometimes it's immediate. Okay. Oh, and we also need the pig, pygmy necklace um, to increase our minion count. So let's go ahead and buy that. And the uh, embuming station. Okay. Um, 
Oh, we also wanted to buy the pylon. So now we have a forest pylon. That's awesome. Let's move the witch doctor back to the housing here now so that we can get the merchant over there. So we're going to put the merchant back now. And now we have a forest pylon. That's what I really wanted for a pretty long time. This will allow quick travel from our house, which will save a lot of time. So let's just place that right down here. It's a little too big to fit. Um, can we move this workbench over? spots uh, let's see actually the cell chest mm. let's do a little housekeeping here So we're going to put the forest pile on right here. Um, and I can put down one more of those. Cool. So when we're at our house, we fall down here, get into our chest room, can fast travel anywhere we want. Okay, and uh, let's go ahead and put back walls here. We'll just make this look a little nicer. clean this look up with some dirt here. Okay, that looks nice. Maybe a little more dirt. Okay. Let's do a quick stack. So the pygmy, pygmy necklace will be nice to have. Um, although I'm really not sure what to replace it with right yet. We'll just hold on to it. Uh, imbuing station. We'll put right here. Actually, that should go up. Um, will that fit here? That'll fit there. Okay. And then the cooking pot. Let's put that by the bed. And now we need a spot for the two. The sharpening station and the uh, I think that quick stacked into the piggy bank. I'm looking for the bewitching table. I'm not sure where that went. Oh, here, here, there's two. So one in the piggy bank, and then one at the house. So we'll put the bewitching table right here. That's something we'll always select before we teleport, and then the 
sharpening station as well. And I'll just put a little ceiling here. So I can put more stuff in here then as well. Okay. That's nice. Um, I think I have enough to make another heart lantern because I've been getting uh, Let's see if I have any life hearts. Yeah, I have two. So I think I just need some chain. Okay, now I can make a, two more heart lanterns. And let's keep one at our house, right here by this honey. We'll keep an extra one in the piggy bank. Piggy bank's starting to get full. Um, that's fine. Oh, I can actually probably make the void bag. I forgot about the void bag. Let me look up the ingredients for that. Um, jungle spores, bones, and shadow scale. Jungle spores. We need 15 jungle spores, which we have. How many bones do we have left? Because I did. Oh, we have tons of bones. Okay, so we can make the void bag. Um, that is made at a demon altar. So let's bring the spores, the bones, and the shadow scales. And let's go to a demon altar. And while we're over there, we can actually make the um, house for the dryad and the um, witch doctor. We'll do that on the other side of the jungle, closest to the corruption. That'll give us a quick travel to the corruption. Okay, so probably right here is a good spot. Although this looks like normal um, forest, so I may have to build it here. Alright, so let's go ahead and build a wooden house. progressing right along here in this playthrough. This is going very well. Oh, I forgot I had a builder potion active, so um, the house is actually a little taller than normal because I have a little bit more range on my builder potion. The builder potion is still active from back when I made the uh, um, Queen Bee Arena. Okay. Witch Doctor and Dryad. Excellent. So we'll wait for them to move in. Um, let's go ahead and teleport home. And they moved in. No, they didn't move in yet. Okay. Um, let's put some more armor into the. Uh, 
mannequins. And yeah, I guess I'll, I don't need to carry that, um, Necro armor or the, uh, Molten armor with me everywhere either, so, let's go ahead and put that on mannequins as well. We might still use some of this, not the gold armor though, uh, but I'll, I'll keep it there just for show. To, just to show all the armors we used at one point in the playthrough, I think that's what I'll do. I'm not gonna make armors just to make them. But if we use them, I will put them on display in no particular order at the moment. So that looks kind of nice. Those are all the armors we used. Let's do a quick stack. Oh. I forgot to make the void bag while I was over there. That's unfortunate. Um, now, when they do move in, um, we'll also be able to uh, buy a pylon and fast travel. But it's hit or miss when people will move in. Um, So I guess we'll just make a run for it. And what the void bag will do is it will, uh, when my inventory fills, things will go into the void bag by default, which just helps with inventory management and not having to constantly open up the safe and put things in the safe back and forth like that. But eventually the dry item witch doctor will move in there and I'll make a pile on there so that we can fast travel essentially to the corruption. If I wanted to, I could fight the Eater of the Worlds, um, not using Shadow Orbs, but I could just summon him. Alright, uh, let's go to the Demon Altar, and we'll make the Void Bag, so we'll carry that with us everywhere now as well. So between the Void Bag, the Safe, and the Piggy Bank, we're going to have plenty of um, storage and I or uh, inventory space and I really like that about uh, I don't know if it was 1.4 I can't remember but the void bag got added into the game much later and it was uh, long overdue I really like its functionality we only have 65 gold um, so like the terrace bark boots cost I think 26 just to reforge once um, not a big deal though because in hard mode we're going to be getting gold a lot easier uh, so we can wait not really farm gold right now because it's not needed at the moment so let's talk next steps for the next video um, we are going to wait for the witch doctor and dryad to move in so we can make a fast travel location here um, we already got fast travel pretty much everywhere um, even the conch shell can get us to this ocean which also gets us to the dungeon and it also gets us to this ocean, which essentially gets us to the corruption. Uh, I could have actually done that instead of ran from here to there. But we're going to be able to teleport here, 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 um, here, 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 and here, and down here. So we're going to have quick access to pretty much everywhere on the map. And that's one of the... I call it a prerequisite before hard mode, especially for permadeath characters. Um, so other than that, uh, we have a nice arena down here for hard mode, for farming. I could make the one in the uh, dungeon a little nicer, um, and a little more efficient for spawning enemies, so maybe I'll do that next episode.
And then lastly, um, the Plantera Arena. Um, I could start hollowing that out now if I wanted to, uh, but I don't really need to yet. And uh, I also want to do a lot of fishing before hard mode. I need to get a lot of fish from the underground jungle right here to make summoner potions. And I need to do a lot more fishing here for, um, uh, what do you call them, uh, armored cave fish. So I can make endurance potions. And then uh, last, I need to uh, make an artificial fishing area in uh, the corruption. Um, and for that, I don't think there was any natural... Um, there wasn't any natural water spawning in here that much. That that actually might be water there, I'm not sure. And there's some here. So we could actually make the fishing area right here. I'll just have to remember to bring uh, lots of water with me. And I'll do that. I'll do that now. I'll fill up some water so we remember to bring it next episode. So let's just look for a big puddle of water real quick. And I'm not going to find any this low. Let's teleport back. Maybe, yeah, here on the minecart track we can get some water. This is a good spot. So let's just fill up our, our buckets. And if I have more iron, I should just go ahead and make more buckets. Um, but I, I don't have that much. Uh, so yeah, we'll... Uh, we'll be moving lots of water into the corruption. For now, I can just store a bunch here. Uh, let's go get one more uh, batch of water so we have it. is just um, a nice place to store water for when we need it later. Less work to do. Let's get another batch while we're at it. Just get this over with. So I'll slow down here at the end. Yeah, it looks like that'll hold all that. And then last batch. And we're coming up on 45 minutes. I try to keep these episodes around 35, maybe 30 minutes. 45 is getting a little long. I definitely don't want them to go an hour. Um, so I'll leave the... Um, the water in my inventory here to remind me at the start of next episode what our goal is and like I said our goal is to go fishing over in the corruption and as well as uh, the underground jungle and the cavern lair um, so maybe a whole episode of strictly fishing and a little bit of dungeon prep for hard mode so thanks a lot for watching I will see you guys in the next episode